Greetings fellow captains and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships with the Hive Hound and we're going to talk about carriers and the whole carrier test event and, uh, and my thoughts and my opinions and these are just my thoughts and my opinions just to let you know this isn't anything official this is just how I feel about the test how it's gone and we're also gonna talk about the uh, part one of my giveaway so uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna slide that in here as well so make sure you watch till the end to find out how to win some good will of warships goodies uh, some some crates and whatnot from uh, from my big giveaway on the 19th of February that I'm doing for my birthday uh, right okay so <coughs> carry a test event first thing I want to say uh, it's kind of a double-edged sword it, I've kind of put it down as a good point uh, that the fact that the test event was a separate event and they weren't just put into uh, into standard game mode because they were quite controversial but on the other hand um, there was a lot of AI in the battles so uh, it, it it was pretty much it was a double-edged sword, sword. Uh, a lot of AI battles probably means the data isn't as accurate as it should or could have been if it was just in standard battles but anyway I digress so uh, another thing about the test event this gameplay in the background is basically my the best game I had for lack of AI uh, there's usually five six AI per team this one was only one which was uh, interesting this was more like a, a realistic battle the most realistic carriers in-game battle that i managed to get um but uh, again because of the test i still think it is a bit unbalanced because if you look at the teams pretty much every ship has been picked because it's got good aa and again that's going to skew carriers to being less powerful than they have the potential to be in uh, in a regular game mode um, so uh, again you know I think the event I think the test event was good it gave us a, a bit of a flavor a bit of an idea some practice at, uh, at doing some torpedo and some HE bomber runs but apart from that I don't think it was really overly all that meaningful so we'll get on to my thoughts on the carriers themselves um genuinely i think the carriers are pretty weak um my overall opinion of them is that they're, they're not uh, they're fairly balanced uh, but yeah they are, they are a bit on the weak side um they have basically absolutely no defense upon being spotted uh, you've got two choices uh, well three choices okay you've got three choices when you've been spotted one try and run away but let's be honest you can't shoot back you're inevitably going to be taken down all you're doing is is making the uh, the enemy player work a bit harder for the kill you can send out a group of planes to try and kill the ship attacking you but that leaves you completely vulnerable which means you're going to take more damage and your ship will die faster and uh, yeah so so it is it is quite limited I think the attacking options that you have available are also pretty limited we have torpedo planes and we have uh, the HE bombers uh, so basically um, DDs are pretty much if if a DD is paying attention there is absolutely no reason or no way you should ever be able to hit a destroyer because of their speed and their maneuverability. Nah, the <laughs> carriers are absolutely rubbish against them. Uh, also with the detectability because uh, AA fire doesn't seem to count anymore. Uh, it doesn't seem to count. So, if, so a destroyer can be shooting at you and shooting down your planes uh, but you won't spot him unless your planes are actually you know within two kilometers which makes it quite difficult to spot uh plane control does i think does need tweaking uh we we have analog sticks for a reason we can you know we can gently or harshly push 
left or right. With the planes, unfortunately, um, particularly uh, this tends to be more important with the uh, the dive bombers. If a ship makes a turn, you, you, your control is quite limited. You're either fully turning or not turning at all. There's there's no middle ground. It's it's too sensitive, and I think the uh, I think reducing the sensitivity and the harshness of how the planes turn. Uh, could significantly improve the uh, the usability of the HE bombers uh, for sure. Uh, part of the limited uh, limited attack options, not having rocket attack planes. Uh, rocket attack planes are by far the easiest of the three to use. Um, uh, so we can we can describe attack running patterns. Uh, for the two classes we have, but I can I can describe them for the rocket attack planes because I have played uh, a bit on uh, on PC. Right, okay. So your torpedo bombers have by far the longest attack pattern. So attack patterns can be split into three segments. So you've got the initial attack run, which takes uh, it's it's about five seconds for torpedo bombers. So that's when you hit attack to actually being able to release them. Uh, so initial attack run is about five seconds for uh, torpedo bombers, and then you've got up to 15 seconds to actually release your torpedoes. And then it's another five to 20 seconds, depending on how far away you launch them from, for them to hit or, or reach their intended target. Uh, dive bombers have a much quicker attack pattern. Uh, it's a second the attack run to initiate. So after hitting the trigger, you can release your bombs within a second, but you do have a seven second window from that. Uh, so you hit the button, as you can see here, you've got a second, sorry, two seconds, and then, well, well 10 seconds to release your bombs, but you can release them sooner. And then the third part is the bombs actually falling which takes a second or so, depending on your height. Rocket attack planes are very different. They have a quick entrance mechanism. Uh, so on PC, it's it's probably about the same. It's probably one or two seconds for them to uh, enter the uh, their mode, their ability to fire. But where they have the advantage is, wherever you're aiming, the, dis the time from releasing the weapon to hitting the target is really quick it's it's almost instantaneous so rocket attack planes <clears throat> uh, have have a have a real usability advantage uh, another part of this and another part of the problem i think is uh, and it's more it's more noticeable particularly towards the end of the game is because pc have three options we only have the two uh, pc would have 30 ships uh, 30 planes available on deck whereas we only have 20 so particularly when you 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 know your target does have really strong AA and there's no other options you will find you're either sending out small squadrons uh, or sitting there waiting for squadrons so you see basically every attack run you you lose two planes pretty much straight away uh, you do your first attack run two of your planes have, have gone so that's a third of your potential damage gone and uh, then obviously um, you know it's it's limited um, uh, particularly you'll see in the game it play in the background attacking uh, attacking the uh, I swap targets it's not the Fuso I'm gonna go for it is the uh, well this one I'm gonna attack the Fuso I'm gonna attack the uh, oh, the West Virginia that's the one that was the last ship alive uh, so because uh, a AA's either the hit points of the ships is too low or AA is just too strong um, I did notice what well, I've asked Wargaming I haven't had an answer yet but I don't think that uh, ships actually lose AA capability I think the AA capability is always there, so it does matter if you, if your your friendly shoot at them and you know they get the indicators using HE for taking out uh, AA or secondary guns. They do appear 
I think they still work at their maximum capacity, although I could 100% be wrong. Um, so, what is... This has led me to the question, like, what is the role of the carrier? So you can't spot, you can't output high damage, so you're purely a support vessel. So in their current state, do they have any purpose in the game? Because cruisers run the support role really well with much, much higher damage outputs, although they are more susceptible to taking damage, but then you know, a cruiser can fight back and manoeuvre, a carrier can't. So, what's, what's the point? I think is the question that I'm trying to ask myself. What is the point? Okay, it does add a new element. I completely, 100% agree with that. It definitely adds something new. And it's, I don't know, I found it semi-enjoyable. You know, I'm, uh, I'm not... I'm, I'm not going to become a carrier main, that's for sure. A hundred percent, obviously, I'll grind them out because you know that's that's what we do. But uh, yeah, I really feel that uh, that they either need to give them better defence. So, but by better defence is is give them autopilot, so you can get your ship moving whilst controlling your planes, even if it's moved to this sector. You know, this square on the map and it just autopilots its way over. It gives you some some improvement to defence. And then obviously you can attack using your planes. Uh, or they need to give us the third option. Give us the rocket attack planes. That'll, that'll in significantly improve the, uh, the potential damage output. Uh, it'll allow us to attack destroyers which for all intensive purposes uh, like I said, if they're alert, they're completely immune uh, to carriers. Um, or do something about about the uh, about the AE. Like knock if if you get the display that they've been damaged or incapacitated or knocked out, actually knock them out. Because uh, yeah, look at the look at the AE fire of this West Virginia. Does that look compromised at all in any way, shape, or form? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think so. Even though we're hitting it with high explosive bombs, we should be knocking out some of those AA defences ourselves. And so, yeah, yeah, they're a bit underpowered. They're not overly underpowered. They just need. I think it is. It is just a case of uh, of some uh, some minor minor tweaking. And I'm, to be honest, I really want to see the rocket attack planes. I think with rocket attack planes, if they change nothing else, it, they'll they've got a place. They, they'll actually be uh, they'll actually be useful as a, as a support vessel. So that leads me to part one of my giveaway. Now I've mentioned this in my streams, and nobody seems to have paid any attention whatsoever. But the two people have. Uh, but this is going to be part one of my. Uh, of my birthday giveaway so the main prizes which are going to be the two munchens uh, at tier 6 because they will be out by then uh, or should be out by then at least uh, they're going to be given away live on stream on the 19th of February so don't forget to punch uh, punch subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will know when we're going live uh, you will be notified then <laughs> and uh, uh, basically I've got 30 crates now that's far too much to give away in in one stream so I'm gonna give away a couple on my discord channel um, if you want to join the discord if you're not part of it the link will be in the description and uh, yeah so part one is gonna be I'm gonna make you guys work for it instead of just guessing a random number it's gonna be subjective purely by me so what I, what I want to see is Hilarious comments, right? Nothing too vulgar. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate. This is YouTube. I'll, I will get in trouble if any of you guys say anything too, too harsh. But whether it's 
whether it's a funny story, a daft comment, you know, like, I don't know, uh, you know, I, I deserve a crate because uh, I, I went, I, I bought six, but uh, my dog ate them, or something, you know, something daft, something stupid that's just going to, that I'm going to read, and it's just going to make me chuckle. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's what we're, uh, that's what we're looking for, that's what I'm, uh, what I'm hoping to see. So, yeah, this will be, this will be part one. Uh, of the giveaway I might do another part midweek next week where uh, I'll give people a second chance and it's purely going to be subjective it's going to be if I think it's funny you get a crate so there I've, I've laid down the gauntlet so to speak <laughs> so uh, I look forward to, uh, I look forward to catching you all in the comments just like I caught that West Virginia in the nose with it all <laughs> So I uh, I do hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Obviously, if you've got an opinion on the carriers, whether it whether it be agree or you completely disagree with me, drop that in the comments because I do always like chatting about this stuff to you guys. And again, obviously something I'm more than happy to discuss on the Discord server with the, the link below. So I hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, take care.